Coming to you from the Detroit Regional Chamber Mackinac Policy Conference, taped at Grand Hotel. Hi, I'm Paul W. Smith. Welcome into Comcast Newsmakers. Our guest today, State Senator Mike Kowal, serving the 15th District. Senator, good to see you, sir. Good to see you, too, Paul. I hope you feel it's going as well as it certainly seems to many of us it is going. Oh, the, the, the convention is terrific. It's, there's a new energy in the air. Uh, you can feel that people are excited. We've been doing so many things in the, uh, in the legislature uh, up to this point in the, from January until today. Uh, we've done more than we did my whole first term uh, when I was uh, first elected in 98. You certainly heard that from a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, moving at, at lightning speed with this moving forward attitude that the governor has, and it starts at the top. Right. Well, he calls it moving in dog years, so we're <laughs> definitely doing that. Yeah. It, you know, it, there was one of the uh, terms that he had when we mentioned uh, when we had him on, uh, RPA. They said it so many times, they're just using the initials RPA, relentless positive action. That's right. And, uh, and let's face it, we could all use a little RPA in everything that we do. And uh, good for you with your deregulation bill, Senator, uh, because uh, it's real easy for these things to, to start out with all of the best intentions and then they kind of blossom and bloom and explode and cause some difficulties. Give us uh, a little bit of the background on your deregulation bill. Well, um, what's happened is, is the legislature will come in and somebody will have an idea and, and they'll create a, 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 a bill which it gets turned into law that, that will uh, control some aspect of, of business. And it's usually, you know, something pertaining to safety or health, safety, and welfare type things. And once that happens, the legislature goes away, and then the, the rules get turned over to the department. And then they create what they call promulgating rules. And what they can do is change the rules without going back to the legislature for approval. And that, is, and that has created some real issues over the years. It started back years ago when, when Governor Engler was in, and he, he was moving forward in that direction. It was fine when, when someone like John Engler was there to really have control of it. And over the last eight years, we didn't have the, the input from the administration watching the rule uh, creating. And it just makes it more and more difficult to do business in Michigan. We've, uh, we've changed the tax structure. We've created a very good tax environment. We're now, uh, I believe, number 16 in the country as, as for tax environment, but we're still 49 in uh, regulation. And we need to really look at what we have to do to create a better regulated environment for business. Well, I imagine rules for the sake of rules, uh, kind of a catch-22, manipulating and changing them to make it impossible to comply. And if you're going to make it a a business friendly environment you can't you just can't have that no we just had a situation the other day with one of the departments we passed a rule through my committee which is uh, economic development they didn't like it but we we turned it into law so what they did was is they they promulgated the rule again inside and made it virtually impossible to comply with huh. and we're going to talk to them next week about it and that's going to be the first step is we're going to take away any rulemaking possibility for that department right away, and we're going to set an example in the state. Senator Kowal, what else are you working on there in your uh, 15th district? Well, we're, uh, I just found out uh, yesterday that I was going to be getting the uh, bill for the, uh, the new bridge. Uh, that's going to be running through my committee, so we're going to be having hearings about that. Uh, we've, uh, in the past, we've uh, uh, corrected some uh, Oh, inadequacies with uh, oh, a variety of different unemployment issues to uh, ergonomic standards and, and we're just making not dangerous situations uh, what we're doing is going in and, and really exam examining them with experts and coming back with some really good legislation that that makes it easier to do business in Michigan excellent uh, doing business in Michigan making it easier to do business in Michigan is part of job one that's for sure state senator Mike Kowal thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, Paul. We do appreciate it. I appreciate being here. Thank you for being here with us, too, on Comcast Newsmakers. Until next time, regards, Paul W. Smith.